guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be unboxing my stationary pals mystery box i love by the way i love the packaging i just thought that was like so cute like all of the pink and then the hearts i thought the package was so cute but i actually got this box like a month ago and i got a few freebies in it this astronaut was one of them and i thought he was so cute so I actually thought it was super cool because it's actually like a mystery. I didn't know what was in there. And I actually got these really cool looking like Japanese drink type of stickers. But this I did buy. I bought a few things separate. So I bought these strawberry like rabbit themed. And then I bought these sticky notes separate also. These came in the mystery box and I got four sets of like the stick me stickers. And I thought they were all super cute because I could use them for bullet journaling. I love the ones with the sayings and then the circle ones I thought were really cute because they like remind me of 4th of July. And then there were some sayings in cursive. And then I also got some like frames. I put, I'll show you those in just a second. I liked all of those because I could also use those for bullet journaling. And then the frames are really cute. Like, because they came with like a bunch of different varieties of frames. And then it also came with the really cute thank you card. I thought that was really cute. And these are some of the things I got separate from the mystery box. I got those gridded notepads, which I thought were really cute. And I got some black washi tape. My mom actually said it kind of looked like electrical tape. But since I have like all of these colorful washi tapes, I thought I'd get like, just like a black washi tape. And one last thing that I didn't get in the mystery box is I got this separate, it's a starry night, like, sticker pack. And I thought it was, like, super cool. And the mystery box came in this super cute little elephant bag, which I thought was super cute. And they put, like, everything in there all, like, pretty looking. But then the post office did decide to, like, shake it around and everything, which I think damaged it. It might not have been the post office, it might have been somebody else. Because it has come from China, so it's a very long way away. The first thing I got out of the bag was this pretty gridded pink washi tape and I don't know if those stickers were a part of it like were a part of the mystery bag because they weren't in there I'm not sure they could have been like either freebies or something I don't know but that's some orange washi tape and then here's some double sided tape that's really cute I was liking cuteness overload of this cute little husky thing because it was so cute and then I was actually thinking to myself that I needed some sticky notes for like just correcting drawings and stuff and I actually got some in there so I like those. I don't know why but I kept just pulling out multiple items of the bag at a time but then only showing like one item. And this hunter green pen is the cure color alcohol based dye stuff ink and it has a fine and a broad tip. It's double sided. So if this voiceover sounds weird I have no clue what's going on because for some reason like my mic is like making me sound super quiet so you might have to turn up your volume and this pen right here is the artline supreme brush marker and it has water-based ink and it has like just a brush tip and then i seen this little thing in the bag later on and i think it's like so it'd be like a marker tip or something not marker tip like a marker cap and this is the donga pen twin fineliner soft and it has a fine and a broad side and it's in this really soft cute color pink this is the zebra mild liner and it's in like more of like a light hunter green I'm not hunter but it's more of like a light green and it's in the bold and it has a fine and a broad side this is the muji gel pen and it's in the color orange and it comes with that little thing in the tip so it keeps like the tip of the pen from drying out this is the Primo marker. It doesn't really have much description about it, but on some paper it comes out orange and some it comes out yellow. I also got the Zebra Sarasa pen and it's in light blue and it's 0.5. I also got a bunch of Primo markers and there it was in gray, pink, and I think orange yellow. Yeah, here's the pink one. And I did, I love, I like, I really like the little knitted hat thing. I tried the pen cap out on a few of the markers and pencils that I got, but then I ended up putting it on the jumbo highlighter I have. I got a really cute eraser in this mystery box also. It kind of looks a little just like normal eraser, but I thought it looked cute. And I also got another Zeba Sarasa pen in the 0.5, and this is in a hunter green, like a dark hunter green. And it also has a little tip on the pen that you pull off. 
And then I got some washi tape, which I thought was really cute. It's on like a blue theme. And it came in like this really cute like little box thing. This little box fits so many stickers in it. It has like a bunch of like drink stickers, some more realistic and some more cartoony. But there's like a bunch of drinks like that and so many fit in that tiny little box. And I thought they were all so cute because some of them look kawaii. That's not how fast my hands are moving. I did speed this up a little, but it came with like such a large variety of so many different types of drinks and stuff. I, my fav, my personal favorite was the banana milk. I think that sticker was like so cute, but it came with like so many. And in just a second, I'm gonna show like all of them set out. So right here, I was just seeing how many sticker sheets were in each pack. It just comes with one, which is okay because they still are really cute. And they actually came with like four sticker sheets, like four different packs of sticker sheets, which I thought was still really cute and cool. So if you remember from the start of the video, I got this freebie cute little astronaut keychain thing. So I decided to put it on my like pegboard thing because I thought it looked so cute there. And I feel like I've said cute like a million times, but everything in the mystery box has really been super cute. So I decided to put all of the washi tapes in a like in a page on my sketchbook and I really didn't have a plan for what I was doing because it was very unorganized. But looking back at it now, I would have probably done it way different and probably like organized it more and like wrote down like things for the pens and the different washi tapes and like put them in sections and stuff. But I do think like the chaotic like looking page looks actually kind of pretty though. Now that I got all this blue gray themed washi tape, I'm gonna have to go look, make a sketchbook spread with all like the blue and the gray stuff, like put all the washi tape on the page somehow. So if anybody does join the premiere, I am going to be making this video a premiere and I would love to know your guys' suggestions for videos because I've been having some trouble like figuring out some videos and stuff like what do you guys really want to see? Do you guys want to see some OC content or do you want to see like draw with me? Or what would you guys be interested in seeing? So I don't know if you can find this on stationery pals because some of the stuff I got in my mystery box is not like on the main stationery pals for some reason but i am still liking all of how cute this little husky double-sided tape is so right here i had no clue what this thing was because it didn't really give any explanation of what it was and it was all in japanese at first i thought it was like white out but like a like a white out correction stick thing but then i actually did figure out once i placed it down that it was like double-sided tape when in doubt and you don't know what to put on the page, just write hi in cursive. Because I guess that's what I did. And then I decided to draw like, it's the frame of like somebody. I'm like, I think I fill up this page in the end, but right now it looks so empty. Like, like the whole of the sides are just so empty because everything's like either on sticky nose or there's just like a line of washi tape. So I have probably said like the word cute like one million times in this video, but everything in like the mystery box was super cute. And I think I'm gonna probably say cute like another million times. So if you really don't like the word cute, you probably shouldn't watch this video because like I say cute like a thousand times. Oh, and if you guys already didn't know, I don't know if I ever clarified or not, this is not sponsored. I did buy this like on my own and uh, I did get the mystery box and it's all a mystery. But if I ever was sponsored by Stationery Pals, that would be pretty cool. So the stuff I showed just a second ago did not come in the mystery box. It came separately because I was scrolling through there when after I got the mystery box, like before we checked out. I was just looking around and I did see a bunch of cute stuff. And I actually was kind of confused about these because I was like, I have no clue what they are, but they look cute. And then they ended up being like stuff you put on the side of your page. 
In that voiceover just a second ago, it kind of sounded like I went to a store. Stationery Pals is not a store, I don't think. I ordered my stuff online, so I don't know, they might be a store. The only thing is these little memo me, little like half circle things, they did not want to stick to the page. Like they were super like not sticky at all. So I used a double sided tape to stick them down, but they still were like not wanting to stick down. So when opening the Starry Night sticker pack, I forgot to take out the only, like, cool, like, not the only, the coolest sticker in the pack. If you look to the left, the coolest sticker of the pack, I forgot to shake it out, so it's still in there. I was like, wow. I thought these bunnies were so cute with, like, the strawberries and how, and how cute they were and how, like, the cute theme was. I've said the cute, like, a million times, but, and then I was, like, trying to peel it off, like, the paper, like as you would do with like a normal sticker pack, I was trying to like peel it off the paper, but then I realized you have to like cut it off of the sticker pack. Oh, and then I thought the backing card was super cute. I did end up decorating my sketchbook with the big bunny head on the left. And I did, I, like, I cut it out and put it on my sketchbook like a few days later. And I actually think I have a shorts of that on my channel. So I was trying really hard to stay away from the apple and the bunny, but then I thought I'll just cut this sparkle in with the, like the bunny and the apple too. But then I ended up cutting into the sticker, like half of the sticker off, and that didn't very go as planned. So this is all the stuff that came in the mystery box. It actually came with quite a lot of stuff actually, and I don't think it like looks pretty good together, like all of the colors look kind of cohesive and like they go together. And here is all the stuff that I got separately from the mystery box, not including the pens. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I post every week.